As Prime Minister Modi packed a very busy schedule in Dubai on the sidelines of COP28, where he uh, did uh, attend ceremonial uh, opening uh, session and then two side sessions also. And in between, he had about eight bilateral meetings also. We saw Prime Minister Modi meeting uh, Qatar's Amir also and uh, various uh, smaller brief encounter with world leader uh, was something that was caught in camera. Uh, but what took the attention of the entire Indian audience was Prime Minister Modi's selfie with Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni. Uh, Giorgia Meloni shared that picture, uh, the selfie she took with the Prime Minister Modi and uh, she shared that picture on her social media profiles, on Twitter, on Instagram and uh, she wrote that two good friends at COP28, hashtag Melody. So this melody has taken the Twitter by storm and it is trending and people are sharing Prime Minister Modi and Georgia Melody's past pictures and videos as well uh, as a friendly encounter of two nations who have a very trusted partnership and the recent years we have seen uh, how the personal chemistry between the two leaders have taken the bilateral relationship also to a uh, newer uh, highs. Apart from this uh, melody, hashtag melody, uh, there were a lot of other engagements also that Prime Minister Modi had on the sidelines of COP28. Prime Minister Modi was uh, uh, given an opportunity to address the opening session of the COP28 also where uh, he did underline what India has been doing in order to address the climate change issue, what are the challenges India has, how uh, about 17% of the globe that, is to, that resides in India is only responsible for the full percent of the carbon emission but still uh, that is something that india wants to bring it down further uh, what are the renewable energy uh, you know scope that india is trying to explore uh, where are the those areas uh, where india has been able to achieve certain targets biofuel alliance that india has launched uh, new initiative innovation like green hydrogen and other other aspect uh, that prime minister modi underlined he also underlined how the the financing the global financing for this entire uh, new and renewable energy is something that the world needs to uh, think about it uh, from where the finances will come from where the energy and entire scale up capacity will be generated so that uh, a common but differentiated targets can be given to the entire uh, you know world community and not necessarily that a smaller country will not have certain responsibility they will have but they would also have uh, an affordable and accessible technology through which they can scale up their uh, capacity of energy generation that would neither uh, you know make uh, neither create any roadblock in their uh, development agenda nor it will pollute the world further and the entire emission target that uh, was agreed upon in paris climate change summit where uh, Prime Minister Modi was also a participant uh, to bring it down by about 1.5 degrees Celsius is something that can be achieved easily. So this was the third attendance of Prime Minister Modi uh, during this uh, uh, COP where the world leaders agree to various uh, measures as to how they can uh, make this world a better living place by um, bringing down the pollution and ensuring that the sustainable uh, goal of development or the you know the energy consumption uh, by the developing country doesn't uh, you know stop uh, also prime minister modi had opportunity to meet swedish prime minister ulf christerson and on the silence of court 28 the two discussed various facets of bilateral ties including defense r d uh, trade and investment and climate cooperation the pm uh, uh, in his meeting with swiss president alan Burset discussed ways to further deepen india switzerland partnership uh, prime minister modi also had a meeting with turkish president recep Peg, uh, uh, Ardogan in Dubai. Uh, he had also met Barbados counterpart Mia Amor Motley. He also had a meeting uh, with newly elected president of Maldives where the two sides uh, expressed uh, cooperation and how to further enhance uh, bilateral cooperation into multiple areas. We have seen uh, ever since Maldives president, new president has taken over, there has been some uh, sort of narrative being built around his earlier poll promises that uh, was based entirely on uh, India's ouster and uh, you know no presence of Indian uh, defense members on the Maldives soil but uh, with the latest meeting that Prime Minister Modi had an opportunity with the new Maldivian president it looks like two sides are working on some workable solution uh, so that the Maldivian uh, concerns are also addressed and uh, Indian concern in the region is also addressed mutually uh, trusted way. Uh, Prime Minister also had a meeting uh, with other world leaders uh, uh, including Prime Minister Modi uh, congratulated UAE President also 
for successfully hosting this entire COP28. Uh, during his bilateral meeting, the both leaders reviewed their wide-ranging and vibrant bilateral ties and they also extend views on the Israel-Hamas conflict, uh, which is also taken the center stage in the global discourse, the political, geopolitical narrative that this is entire Israel-Hamas conflict has shaped uh, in the recent weeks where uh, the region, especially the Arab and Gulf region has been uh, adversely impacted. There is a millions of people who has been ref become refugee in their own homeland that is in Gaza. Uh, the, the terrorist attack and how it uh, adversely impact the global balance of peace and how we need a concerted effort to, to tackle any upcoming threat uh, of, of, from, from terrorist side. This is, this, these all are issues that Prime Minister Modi also tried to highlight uh, with other world leaders. Uh, so the entire COP28 which uh, has ended. Uh, also, Prime Minister Modi assured the world that India has understood its role, its importance and COP33 that would be somewhere around 2028 is most likely going to be held in Delhi. So this is Prime Minister Modi's announcement that COP28 uh, which has just concluded in Dubai and then India will be hosting COP33 that will be in 2028 uh, and this is a major uh, event that India is looking forward to after G20 uh, organization fully successfully where India was able to bring out the joint communique. Uh, the upcoming major event will saw, we'll see the gathering of entire world's community, the senior leaders acro from across the world who will be coming in Delhi and discussing how they can build a safer and more prosperous future for the upcoming generation. That will happen in 2028 in Delhi.